Well, hashtag Leaderbyte. Good afternoon and welcome back to another episode where this week we've received a request all the way from Singapore asking us to talk about the famous One Upper. And that is the person in your life that constantly ups everything that you've said. So for instance, you could be talking about something at work and they come back and talk to you about how that's great and theirs looks like this. And we've always used an acronym, or I've always used an acronym to describe the behaviors of these people. And that is that of the GABS. So as we walk through this acronym, check this out because what we know is that this completely drives down the relationship of your people. It drives down your credibility as a leader. And of course, it drives down overall morale in a team. So the first thing or behavior that these people do in situations where there's conversation around an event in your life is they grab the glory. Okay, so the example could be, hey, this week, did you see that project that I completed? Oh yeah, I remember when I did that, but I did it with this. So if you got an A, I got an A+. You know, if you got three, I got five. They're just able to grab the glory in, in the sense that they need the recognition more than you do in that moment. That's one example. The second thing that they do is they do this. They advise or they give advice or they become an advisor in the, in the particular scenario. So you could walk up with the challenge of, hey, I just had this interaction with my boss. And instead of helping you, they turn around and they think that giving advice is the thing that you need when particularly you could be looking for just an ear in the moment. The third thing that they do is they, whoops, belittle the situation. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, it's okay. You'll be fine. And you're like, well, actually right now I am not fine, but thank you for letting me know that I'm going to be fine in just a minute. So in whatever situation it is, these people, these one-uppers come in and belittle it again so that they almost feel better in the situation to feel like they're helping you. But the helping you is actually driving down all of the parts of the relationship and morale between you two. The last one is this. They completely sidestep, gosh, and I sometimes get in trouble with this with my wife, because I'm sidestepping what's actually going on in the moment. So an example could be, um, hey, did you turn in that report? Well, I was gonna turn in the report and this is what happened. Well, it's okay. Hey, next Tuesday, you wanna go out for beers? I mean, really? We were just talking about one thing, you sidestepped it to another. And so one example that I love to use with this because everyone can relate is, uh, let's pretend your grandmother passed away, and I hope she hasn't, but if she did and you walked into your office or your, your relationship and you said, hey, my grandmother just passed, well, you know, all four of my grandparents have just passed, or not just passed, but have passed in the past. Uh, my grandfather, or my grandmother just passed, well, maybe you should look after your grandfather. You know, your, my grandmother just passed, it's all right, you'll be all right, we all get through it, death's a natural part of life, and you'll see her on the other side. You know, my grandmother just passed. Oh yeah, what kind of cat did she own? You know, all of these things drive down the relationship because they are the behaviors of a one-upper. Now, as a leader, I would encourage you this week to check out what parts of your team or who on your team dis displays these type of behaviors and how can you help coach them past it? It could be by showing them this model, it could be by doing things, because what you're doing as a leader is you're trying to increase credibility, increase relationship. And so I would look at that as, pretend that these are two people's heads, okay, not beautiful eyeballs, and here's the relationship between you and the people that you work with. As a leader, I think that you can put a spin on this one-upper, and you can become a one-upper in value. Okay, and what that looks like is looking for 51%, Okay, everything that you do should be 51% if this is you, the leader, and this is you, your employee, or the person you manage, or another person in the relationship. You should be looking to add value 51% to their 49. So if that's financial as a boss, if that is um, just in time given to them, or if that is going up and beyond the call of duty, adding that 51% of value, one-upping them in a positive way, will actually drive up your relationships and move you forward and build morale amongst your team. So as you step back this week, think about how can you add value by one-upping in a positive way and also eliminating the gabs from your team. That's it from this week, Leader Byte. Hopefully it's something you can chew on and we will see you next week. Cheers.